Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2021 and a half Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology for motion. This particular one has a two liter turbo engine. So this is a 2.0 T. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, LED all weather lights. The LEDs actually run into the middle grill rib right there on the front and also align with the top chrome rib across the top of the headlight assembly. It also has keyless entry on all four doors, black roof rails. Uh, it'll have adaptive cruise control, blind, blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, a power lift gate, remote start. Five years of free car net services. You'll be able to remote start the car from your phone. A power lift gate, LED tail lights, LED turn signals, LED reverse lights, the oversized reflector, at the base of the bumper here and then also these chrome exhaust tips that are faux exhaust tips on the back and it says se on the back corner here up here right below the new volkswagen logo it says atlas the only place on the car it says atlas and then over here on this side it has the old school four motion label for 2022 they will have the new four motion label on the back There's a look at the 20 inch alloy wheels. Nice sweeping line down the side of the car, under the door handles, into the wheel arches, and into the tail lights, and then uh, likewise into the front headlights. Let's take a look inside. As we walk up here, this one's gonna have Shetland beige interior. Here's a look at that beige. It's kind of eye popping here. Makes the car look a lot more elegant and classy with the beige, and it also makes it look bigger and much more roomy inside. It is large and spacious, but it makes it look even bigger with the lighter color. So as we look at this seat here, you have lumbar support, power lumbar forward and back right here. Your seat back adjust, or your seat forward and back and up and down right here. And then this is your seat back adjust. You have this nice bold white contrast stitching right up the bolster here and behind the shoulder here. It continues up into the manual headrest here with this little button here and also on the passenger seat right there. And as we climb in here, I'll turn this down in a second. It shows 101 on the temperature gauge here. I'll turn down the fan there so the phone's not picking all of that up. Wood grain interior on the interior here uh, do of the door, surrounded by this flat silver finish right here. That continues around the vents here. The vents go across to the other side. Wood grain right here, and then over into the, driver, the passenger side door over here as well. Uh, you do have a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel right here that's adjustable so I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where I need, and set it. Also, the Volkswagen logo, the new Volkswagen logo right here, uh, flat silver finish across the spokes here with a splash of piano black down here at the base. Automatic headlights right here. You do also have all weather lights. That's what this little icon is here. You just pull out to activate that, push in to turn them off. And you also have a coin box for storage right here. Digital display kind of in the center right here. It's a customizable display here, so I can change it between driving data, assist systems, compass, audio, telephone, and then vehicle status as well. Uh, and in that vehicle, or the driving data one, that's where I can get a speedometer. I can also get speed warning, travel time, uh, distance, traveled, energy consumers, fuel range, fuel economy, real-time economy, uh, and also oil temperature. So I have all of these different settings that I can go through. And I just navigate using the left to right here, these two little file folder things, and then also the up and down and the okay. This is basically my mouse here. That's how you navigate that. You do have a tachometer off to the left here, temperature gauge right here, fuel gauge over here inside of the speedometer. There's a look at the speedometer as well. Uh, trip odometers right here very nice setup here with this shetland beige it's black where it needs to be you got black carpet this is a manual seat while i'm showing you this there's your loop right there to pull the seat forward and back and over here on this side there's one handle here to adjust the seat back angle right there this seat is not adjustable up or down it's just forward and back and then the seat back adjust along with that headrest right there there's your seat belt adjust there if you need a seat that's multifunction where you can move it up and down and forward and back, you'll need to move up to an SEL and that upgrades to a power seat. Right here on this radio, this is an MIB3 radio. It does have gesture control. Let's see if I can get it to work. 
Yeah, I got it to work. So you do have gesture control right there. It does look for as long as that hand is showing there, it's looking for that you wake the sensor up and it shows uh, that it's looking for your gestures to move the screen across. Also, AM, FM, and satellite. All of your presets, 36 of them, can be all together. So you don't have to have just one set of FM, one set of AM, and one set of satellite on this presets now. The backup camera, pretty spectacular. It does HD video. So this is what it looks like here. I have trajectory steering. I can turn the wheel left. The yellow line moves that way. I turn it right. The yellow line moves accordingly. Green line signifies straight or the straight back, uh, and the red line signifies where my bumper is. I do also have App Connect. App Connect is going to allow me to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly. The phone can actually be in my pocket. Once you do your Bluetooth setup, this will prompt you for one of these technologies here and you'll be able to run Waze, Apple Maps, Google Maps from your phone and show up on this screen here without a cord. Down here, two USB connections, USB-C connections right here. If you want to do the old school connect your phone and charge it that way, these are charging ports as well as data ports for the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay there. You have wireless charging in this tray right here and a 12 volt charger port right there. Very nice. Also, tri-zone climate control dual zone up front so you've got these two up front and you can also control the back as well by pushing the menu button it brings up the touch screen here i can toggle between front and rear just by touching on the screen here i also have air care by touching the active button here i actually uh, trigger the air filtration system it actually scrubs the air before it circulates it in a cabin so if you live by a stinky landfill or if uh, the, uh, your road has somebody that has run over a skunk or you've run over a skunk and you're not going to smell it in the car. Storage bin up here, quite handy. Um, you do also have an auto dimming home link mirror right here with three door garage door memory. This is your digital compass right there. And you have a vanity mirror with an LED light above on each side. Now, with this home link mirror, it does not come standard. It's an extra on this car, so you don't assume that your car is going to have it. Up here, sunglass storage right there and then you have your carnet buttons right here carnet's going to be free for five years uh, here's a look at your cup holder down below key fob right here the key fob has your standard unlock and lock uh, remote start and power lift gate there with the panic alarm on the side speaking of the power lift gate I can open it and close it from here so if I'm doing contactless pickup I can lift up on that gate that opens it and then lift up and hold and that will close it. The key is I have to lift up and hold to close. All right, in the glove box here, there are your manuals right there, your tire warranties and your extras right there. Two sets of SD card reader holders right there, or SD card holders. Uh, they deleted the SD card reader and the CD player, but they kept those. Not sure why, but they did. There's a look at the Shetland beige on the leatherette seats. Very nice. There's a look at that headrest. The armrest is also padded in the leatherette and Shetland beige with the white stitching. Inside, black carpet, USB-C connection in here for a third one. Now you do have the option of getting a drop-in bin, Amazon sales storage trays, I think VW.com does now too. Uh, also, there's a drop-in safe that you can get through VW.com or at your local dealer, or you can ask me for one and uh, you can pay for it and we'll ship it to you. It's about 200 to 250 bucks. I can't remember what the exact dollar amount is, but if for CCWs, if you want a locked safe to store your firearm in, you have it right here. Again, black carpet on the floor. It's black where it needs to be. Let's take a look at the second row. As I step out, I'll show you that carpet right there. There's a look at that carpet. So it protects you against scuff marks here because it's black in color. The seat is beige. Uh, anywhere where you're gonna have scuffs and things of that nature they thought about it and put it in black same back here this particular unit has captain's chairs fold away armrest right there also one right here the seats have your car seat hookups here and here and over there as well you do also have a sunshade built into the door right here se and up units will have that shetland beige with the premium stitching right here and the arm pad here as we climb in here lots and lots of leg room i have lots of leg room right here i have about eight to ten inches of leg room behind the seat right now magazine pocket right here 
one over there as well of course this seat is all the way back so i can move this seat up i still have about three to four inches of knee space right here and i'm giving more knee space to the people in the back there's a look at the seats in the back those headrests will flip up with the flick of a wrist there the seats set high off the floor so your rear passengers if they're six foot two six foot three they're still not going to complain back there because their knees won't be in their chest here's a look at those seats again here there's a two-way switch right there that brings the seat forward and that also brings the seat back so i'm going to try to demonstrate this in the comfort of air conditioned interior in the car so the bottom drops out of the seat it pitches forward so if you have a front facing booster you don't have to remove the seat to get into the third row here that gives you that access right there just remember to remove the kid please remember to remove the kid this switch right here is also two-way so i'm going to lift it up this way to put the seat back now the seat's back in place still have all that leg room there so i'm going to lift up on this bar underneath squeeze it and push back and now we have ample leg room back in the back and also right here with the seat right here i'm going to do something different i'm actually going to climb into the third row so you can see that so with the captain's chairs i am able to do that as i sit back here and move the headrest up i do have two to three inches of knee space behind this seat here now notice my foot placement here it's by the rail right here but even with a bench here i still have knee space back here and here's the other seat i'm six foot one i'm sitting right here this seat still comfortable i still have headroom back here i'm gonna flip it so you can see me you see the difference there's my head there's the roof right there and i'll flip there you go lots and lots of space in this car this is a six seater option c pillar vents right here and also over here very nice so i'm going to climb out here and go to the back as i climb out here i'll move the seat back here's a look at those alloy wheels this particular one does have a bumper dillo on it so I, I did something different here. I climbed through from that middle row. So I want to show you something here. Here's the window sticker. $41,595 for this one. The extras are going to include captain's chairs for $6.95. Second row captain's chairs. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home link for $3.25. Volkswagen logo front puddle lights, $200. Mojo mats for captain's chairs for $185. And a bumper dillo on the back for $150. There's a look through. At those seats again the wheels on the back here's your bumper dillo and between the t and the l that's where your your button is for the rear hatch and now we'll look through from the back these headrests as i said were adjustable and there's a little lock tab right here you just push in on and now you can push down on a seat there's a look at your six seater setup there black carpeting on the back these are still reinforced so are those seats there so in the event of a crash anything that's back here in the back doesn't go flying into the seat and injure the person sitting in a the seat these seats do fold flat just like this just with that little lever up at the top and then i can pull on this guy right here and put it back in place velcro strap to keep it out of the way this is the switch that i flipped there i think i might have missed it on the camera same here pull up on this guy right here make sure that locks right there and then this is the button that we pull. Mojo match right here with the Atlas embroidery. Nice flat floor right here. You lift it up. Your spare tire is underneath this carpeted floor. You just release this guy right here and remove the carpeted tray and the jack and your spare tire is underneath. There's your power lift gate. This car does come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles. That includes two years of free maintenance, so your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. And if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, you're gonna get a 10-year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. That's in addition. Also, if you buy from me, we'll give you a third year of free maintenance, so your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes will be covered. If you're interested in this car or another car just like it, or if you need to order a car, your local dealer won't order it for you, and you're willing to travel to St. Louis, give me a call. 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.